We have an innocent bystander here. Tell me, sir, what's going on? Uh, this is a kinetic sculpture race. And what are you observing at this moment? Some very innovative and imaginative creations that do all of the functions that they're supposed to do. What sort of functions are those? Uh, they appear to have to travel through sand and also float and uh, make a mileage distance. And what else? Also, they have to be super creative. And we have some favorites that we picked out. And what are your favorites? I like the school bus very much. The magic bus. Yeah. yeah it's have, really cool. I have something for you from the magic bus. It's a little token of what we believe in yeah. for all the world. Well, so do we. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you folks from? Squam. Squam. Is this your first Kinetic Sculpture Race? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Will you be back? Yes. Absolutely. We yeah, we Chicago. love this place. And when is the Kinetic Sculpture Race in Port Townsend? Uh, 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 the first weekend in October of every year. You got it. You got it. We will see you here next year. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We have an innocent bystander here. Tell me your name. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Where are you from? Squim. And um, I love your scarf. You're welcome. What is? What are you doing here? Watching the kinetic races. Have you seen this before? Um, no. What do you think of all this? It's pretty cool. I, um, I really like the frog. The frog looks cool. Isn't that the frog coming out of the water right now? Yeah. Yeah, that frog is pretty cool. Did, have you seen the tadpole? No. The tadpole is a little bicycle that follows the frog around. <laughs> that sometimes they let the kids pedal. What do you think about if you could ride a kinetic sculpture? Oh, I don't know. No, would you, would you uh, want to pedal one? Mm, probably not, I would get kind of tired. You get kind of, what if you had some crew people to help you? Then I think I might want to, if like it wasn't like this really windy and cold. Yeah. Do you think it looks like fun? Um, yeah, a little bit. What else does it look like? Um, it looks like a lot of hard work because you'd have to build it and then um, you'd have to make sure it works. What else? Um, it, it'd be hard to sometimes find the parts that you needed. Yeah. And, and if you wanted to add certain decorations, you'd have to make sure that um, they wouldn't make you sink in the water. That's right. Here, this is for you. It's from the Magic Bus. And thanks for joining us today. Frog you. Frog you. Okay, here we have the magic bus coming out of the mud bog. The last few feet they've managed to, to splash through this muddy, cruddy, yucky mud. Oh my gosh, look at the wheels. They're caked with mud. When they pedaled out on their own power, the only sculpture so far to have successfully made it through the mud. Yeehaw, magic bus. The sign on the back says, um, it's lawful to flash when red lights pass. 
and I'm sure they mean flash a smile. Here we are at the Cruddy Muddy Mud Bog in Port Townsend at the Kinetic Sculpture Race. Here with master kinetic sculptor and kinetic cop, Charles Bedoni. How's it going? Hi, I'm just great. And, and tell me, did your sculpture make it through the mud today? We did. We went through real nice and nothing broke except I think Wendy bent her transmission a little more. Tell us the name of your sculpture. The Magic Bus. And tell us some more about the Magic Bus. Um, it has really big wheels and uh, it went really good in the mud and it's really heavy. And we didn't build it right. Okay. So, um, <laughs> are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. Uh, I, I also got to be the bogmeister this year, and the bog that we've created is, in fact, doing its job quite well. So you are the guy responsible for this mess. I'm afraid I'm... <laughs> You're the guy that has created this muddy, cruddy bog that all these sculptures are... Struggling. Struggling. They are struggling, struggling through here. How long did it take for you to create it like this? Uh, it took us about half a day with the machine, and then Mother Nature helped because it rained real hard Friday night. and. We got a lot of more water here than we put here in the first place. And it's just, it's real fluffy, and it's real deep, and there's lots of it. And, and I'm noticing quite a few lumps in between the fluff. We didn't make any attempt whatsoever to level it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, we left it as rustic as possible and um, have achieved our goal once again of having an epic mud bog. How does this compare to the mud bog in Corvallis? Mm, it's longer and much wetter and much more sucking mud. And I would say a little bit windier and colder and it's on, much on this. Much windier and colder. Mm -hmm. And we don't have live music. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Charles. My pleasure. Job well done. Thank you. Down in the mud, falling into pieces before our very eyes. The peddler has survived the crash and is pulling out pieces of their machine, slinging them on their shoulders and running <laughs> the rest of the way through the bog. <laughs> that was a tremendous splash. Only a bozo named Dean could do such a thing. Once again, the muddiest sculpture in the bog. <laughs> He's now doing a handstand for the benefit of the crowd and jumping in the other side. Oh, Dean, I hope you didn't hit a rock. Oh. Where's the megasaur ass when you need one? <laughs> Sportsmanship. Muddy cruddy. He gets my muddy cruddy award. <laughs> do it, do it. Okay, we have a microphone with Sol. Tell us about this. This soul has seen a lot of light. This soul has changed color. This soul has different smells. This soul, this soul has a lot to say. This soul is full of mud, sir. How are you protecting people from the mud today? I'm not protecting them from the mud. They're gonna go into the mud with soul. <laughs> we have soulful mud here. We're not being protected. Don't, I don't know what, what is your job as a K-cop? We keep people out of the to way. To enforce, enforce the matrix. The matrix. Tell me more about the matrix. The quantum field. Tell me more about the quantum field. It's all of us. It's between you and me. It is you and me. We're just here to enjoy the quantum field. And how are you enjoying the field today? It's, it's great. We're the blanket. 
We're the blanket. That's right. We're the we're the blanket. That's right. Of the, the blanket. Uh, we're the blanket of the field. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and what's the matrix? The matrix is is everything. You and me, everything combined. We are with the Port Townsend Connect Sculpture Race, and we're the interviewers interviewing the interviewers. Are you having fun today? I'm having great fun. This is absolutely insane. There's just mud everywhere. And, and, and you guys are loving it. This is great. It's really good fun, man. It seems like the bigger the wall, the more chance of actually getting through. It seems to be the thing. I, I'm getting called over to go and do some stuff. Do some interviewing okay. too now. Take care, fun. Here you go. That's great. I love it. We are all kinetically connected in the matrix of our soul. An innocent bystander here at the mud bog of the Port Townsend Kinetic Sculpture Race talking to a dirty sock. <laughs> What would you like to say to your friends and family back home? I wish you were all here. It's been a beautiful day. <laughs> Where are your friends and family? Most of them are down in Southern California. Do they do this sort of thing in California? Uh, Northern California they do, and they've all seen it there. So they're familiar with kinetic craziness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what makes Port Townsend so special? Mostly the celebration, and here it seems to be more about the party and less about the race. <laughs> here, here. Here, here. Here, here to the party. Although, you know, I have to say, these sculptures look like they're working pretty hard in this mud right now. Yeah, those guys, they're really uh, pedaling a lot and not moving very fast. <laughs> Chains are snapping. And yeah, this is not good. Not good sounds coming from that one. <laughs> Can you tell which sculpture is in the mud right now? Um, it is the Strange Brew is the only one I can see right from here. That's the one that has like the keg keggers on top there? Uh, yes. They're, they're sponsored by the Port Townsend Brewing Company. Oh. Stra nice. And they have a brew called Strange Brew. Wow. It, if you bribe that team, they have coupons for beers for a dollar. <laughs> All right. All right. So I guess I better get moving. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Go. Their gearing is so low. Oh, don't stop now. You're almost out. Go, 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 Zamboni! Woohoo! Excellent! Yahoo! These folks are my friends, and they built this machine from scratch in time to take it to California this year for the World Championships, where they broke down just about every day. It was a rough road for them in California, but now they're back in Portland in their hometown. Zamboni is a takeoff on the hockey scene. They've got Strange Brew as their flotation, their kegs up in the air. It's also a movie called Strange Brew, which has some weird beer connotations. I'm not really sure what the movie's about, but I know that they like to drink beer on the team. In fact, their sponsor is the Port Townsend Brewing Company. And there they go, down the road, safely out of the mud. Well done, Zamboni and Strange Brew. Watching here is Das Boot. And these folks are from Polsbo, Washington. The creator of Daspo is an engineer, and peddling with him is the lovely Laura Allen from California. She holds the record for peddling on the most number of different sculptures in the kinetic race circuit. This is her first time peddling with Das Boat. I've heard tell she's got a good set of legs. And any kinetic sculptor is proud to have Laura on board to help along with her lovely smile. Look at them go. They made it through the mud. Well done. Well done, Das Boat. The creator with his admiral's hat. You're stuck again. Keep 
keep pumping up, Laura. She's got one red leg, one green leg, but they're both on just a single pedal. This is a pumping action rig. It's won a number of engineering awards over the years. And they've made it through the mud again.